Hey guys, it's Spisola Cloth here, and today I'm selling this Monster Legends Week's video with some brand new monsters, as well as some new movesets and some new traits. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first week we have is a brand new evolving trait for Hammer Litsock. He's going to have Immune Freeze, Immune to Burn, and Self Precision. All of those are really bad, so yeah, just kind of a really bad trait for this monster. And then we also have a Rusty Red Tails design right here, and he looks pretty cool. I do like him a lot. He goes from Dynamite to a Flamethrower, which is awesome. And yeah, he's just a fox with like a bomb strapped to his back. It looks really cool. I like him a lot. And then we have Jocko's description as well as Killamancer's description, which is a very interesting name. So yeah, if you want to go and read either of those descriptions, you can pause the video here and read those. And then we also have that there's going to be a Halloween card flip where you can get Zara, Alfira, and a Villainia. None of those monsters are really too amazing, but I guess if you need any of them for books or anything like that, definitely go ahead and get them. But yeah, they're just very outdated monsters. They wouldn't be really good for your teams or anything. And then we have a Jocko's moveset right here. So he's going to be a Thunder and Dark Attacker with Torture and Extra Turn skills. So he can apply a random Torture to one enemy with an extra turn. He can also go ahead and do Bleed to all enemies with low Dark damage. He can also do Shock to one enemy, Thunder to all enemies with Shock to all enemies, and then Tortures to all enemies, just a random Torture. And that also does moderate dark damage, which is decent. He also has a shock with an extra turn. He has a bleed, and then he has a bleed with an extra turn. So yeah, honestly, not very good moves. Not very good moves at all. But I guess you can still go and get him depending on what event he's in. If he's free, go ahead and get him anyway, I guess. But yeah, definitely don't spend money on this monster. Not worth it at all. And then we have the bounty hunt shop right here. Not many of these monsters are really that good good i think a few of them were decent but i'll go and make another video just looking over the good ones because i'll have to do some research to find out which ones are really great i know the purple bag ones are at least decent but i'm not sure if any of the other ones are and then last but not least we have an image for the bounty hunt so yeah that is going to be it for this video let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited for and what you guys think of jocko and also what you guys think of rusty red Tail's design personally i really love the design but i do not like jocko's moveset and hammer litsock's trade is kind of bad as well so yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think though and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye